Hey Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. So the question of the evening is, do you think that this is a reseller's dream or nightmare? Do you think a reseller is buying this or a collector? So the items that I am going to show you are auctions that are available. And I'm wondering if this seller would have done better selling the ind items individually and if the person buying it is a reseller who is going to flip these items. So these are old vintage pipes, 50 of them. So right now this is at $315, 39 bids, 32 watchers, and two days to go. So down in the comments of um, my channel, if you could post maybe some opinions about some of these listings, like say the pipes, you're like, oh, I think that's definitely something that a reseller should buy to resell and maybe give me some insight on what you think you could sell these for if this is your area of expertise. So I'm just going to go through quite a few up here. As you can see, I've pulled several and we're going to talk about them. The next one, 203 pieces of vintage jewelry. That's a lot of jewelry and it looks like there's some really cool stuff in here. My question is, is why is the seller selling it like this and not selling it individually? Because if you look at this, there's 203 pieces right now. It's at like a buck a piece, maybe a little over a buck, not saying that's what it's going to stay at. It still has three days, 23 hours to go, 60 bids and 47 watchers. But this is a cool lot. This would be great for somebody who resells. Um, you could resell it on eBay. You could resell it on other platforms, you know, whatever, whatever works for you, but super cool. It would take a lot of time to list all of this though. And it is hard to tell if any of it's, you know, high end or if it's just, you know, cheap stuff, but costume jewelry, some people love it. Okay. Moving on. All right. I talked about this in one of my other videos. Um, so this is 2000 over 2000 matchbook covers. So I'm not sure what people do with these, but I'm thinking if somebody wanted to sort through these and put them in smaller bundles, they could probably make some decent money. So I'm wondering, is a reseller buying this four days, two hours to go, $217 and 50 cents, 34 bids and 31 watchers. It could be a collector or it could be a reseller. What do you guys think? Post in the comments what you think. Okay, so when I get toys like this and I don't know anything about them, this is exactly what I do. I put them in a lot and I sell them all together and I hope that somebody knows that there's something good in there and they bid it up. So this has six days left. It's at 127.50, 25 bids, nine watchers, and this very well could be a reseller buying this to sell the items individually. So pretty cool. Okay. Now this is oops, just a mixed lot of just a bunch. It's called junk drawer lot. So you can see there's some knives. I don't even know what some of this stuff is. Looks like a lot of knives, but anyway, this could be a collector. This could be somebody looking for just maybe one item that they see that they collect and want, but whatever it is, I'm guessing that there's some good stuff in this lot because it's at 224.50, 25 bids, 30 watchers, and it still has five days to go. So it could be a reseller. Pretty cool. Okay. Here's another vintage junk drawer and let's see what they got here. Some spoons. Looks like some patches. So definitely some watches, some photos, some coins, lighters. Um, looks like police badges. So definitely a mixed lot. And this one is only at $69, 19 bids, 15 watchers still has almost four days to go. So this can definitely go for more. It again, could be a collector or somebody that's going to resell it. Pretty cool. 
okay, this one's um, being sold by another country, but I th still thought it was cool. Um, these are fountain pens. So I could see a collector or a reseller buying this. Lots of pens there. Um, it says 40, 40 pens. It's got five days left, 62, 55, 19 bids, 20 watchers. So pretty cool. Okay, so Polly Pocket, we have all heard about Polly Pocket. Uh, again, another one that I post in my Bolo group a lot. These usually go for big money. So this could be something that a reseller is buying and they're gonna sell them individually. These look to be in fantastic shape. I'm not sure which ones are rare, which ones are more valuable than others, but this looks like a clean set with lots of accessories and people. It's currently at $55, which in my opinion is pretty low for Polly Pocket, but I guess it just depends on the little houses or whatever you call them, um, if they're rare or not. Uh, 18 bids, 38 watchers, so it's still got one day, 15 hours. This one can definitely, definitely go up and it could be a reseller buying it. Okay, so here is fishing lures. Some of these are worth big money. Some of them are worth nothing. Um, this is a lot of 50. So could be a collector, could be a reseller buying it. 5101, so it's, you know, that's at about a buck each. That's a really good deal. Um, 18 bids, 29 watchers. Two days, 13 hours to go. I'm guessing this one is going to go up. But again, I don't know which ones are rare and which ones are not. Some of them don't really sell for much at all, but some of them go for huge money. I'm guessing if there was a big money one in here, this price would be a lot higher. Okay, um, sheet music, 65 pieces. This would be something that somebody who has a store that sells this, a reseller could definitely buy it. Right now it's... um. It's not a, at a super high price. It's only at $26, but it has 17 bids and 10 watchers. So it has the potential to increase. It's got one day, nine hours left. Okay, here's another one. Um, these are brooches and pins, 400 plus. And these are costume jewelry, 400 plus. That is a lot. Again, it would be super, super time consuming to list these all individually. I can see why they lauded them up, totally something I would do, but at the same time, if you actually take the time to list these, you could probably definitely get a lot more money out of them. Right now it's at 173.50, 18 bids, 11 watchers, three days, 16 hours to go. So pretty cool. All right, so vintage clothing, lot of 23 dresses. Some of these vintage dresses go for big money and some, they don't get a second glance, they go for nothing. So I'm guessing that some of these are pretty fantastic, which I don't see anything that's standing out to me, but I don't know a whole lot about vintage dresses. But someone likes it because these are at $585 with 16 bids, 33 watchers, and one day, 21 hours to go. So again, guys, comment below. Let me know what you think. Is this a reseller's dream or a reseller's nightmare? I'd love to hear what you have to say. Again, please subscribe and comment below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Have a great night.